Hi guys, so I just wanted to hop on here real quick. I feel like I came up with something that is just gonna be absolutely pivotal and just wanted to give you guys an update since it's the end of week eight. Um, so I realized I basically just have to guilt trip myself when it comes to my diet. Cause I was thinking about it, like I've been in the gym pretty consistently over the past few years, especially the last two years. And over the past year I've been in the gym, but I've gained probably at least 40 or 50 pounds in the past year. <laughs> um, but I've still been going to the gym and I, it, I was like, well, you know, if my sole reason was to go to the gym is just to lose weight, then I would have quit by now because, you know, if I'm not, if I'm gaining weight instead of losing weight and going to the gym, I would just be discouraged and stop going. But the reason I realized that has kept, has kept me there is like, if I, I know if I, when I think about skipping the gym, I will feel bad for not going like especially like not only that day will I feel bad but at the end of each week I really enjoy being able to be like Monday through Friday check like I did each day and it goes by firstly each day like if I don't go to the gym I'll feel bad all day I'll feel guilty and I think that the only reason why I can even get to the point where it's like I feel bad is because I allow myself to feel the guilt and the bat like feel bad and I I know the value of it like staying in the gym like is kind of like me time it makes me feel good about myself um you know the the body shaping part of it is not not what keeps me going and it was like why am I not applying that to my diet like this is like oh I mean it, I don't know if it sounds like super simple but for me it's like hello like that's why I've been in the gym this whole time. And why don't I just apply that to my diet? And of course to like, you know, like I've been talking about in the past videos, I think it ties in with having my own little journeys, like my own little passion projects. Um, I think that's important too, but I feel like this is like so big because it makes sense. When I was in good shape or I don't, not even good shape, but I was like a healthy weight and I stayed there, I was choosing smaller portion sizes and less carbs and healthier foods, not not even because it was like, oh, I'm trying to lose weight or I want to stay in, in the shape. It's because I would feel bad about myself if I didn't. Like I still enjoyed my foods and I still ate what I wanted, but it was like I wanted this smaller portion or I wanted these healthier foods because if I didn't, I would feel bad. And what happened, now it's like just all just... Like what happened is when I start gaining weight, it's because I start ignoring those feelings. I start like, nah, I'll get back on tomorrow. I'll, I'll, you know, five pounds is nothing. Like it'll be easy for me to lose five pounds. Like I, the, the whole, the whole reason for the initial weight gain, for the continual weight gain, all of it is because I push all of the bad feelings to the, to the back of my mind because I get to a point where I'm like, I just want to enjoy the food. I just want to enjoy my meal and relax and unwind. And I don't want to feel bad about it. I'll worry about it later. And then I'll feel bad later. But I'll I'll still like, I'll get back to it tomorrow. I kind of like step over the bad emotion. I, I push it to the back. Like I'll hide from the mirrors. I'll buy bigger shirts so that my regular shirts don't feel so clingy to me. And when they're clingy to me, that makes me feel bad. Like all these little things I do to avoid the guilt, the pain is exactly what's making me gain weight because I'm avoiding it. And it's like, you know, those negative feelings are really just, I think, you know, they're trying to steer me in the direction of what I really want, where I really want to go. And by ignoring it, I'm only hurting myself. Y'all like, this is just so like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have thought of this earlier, but you know, I think this is part of the journey, like, you know, the past eight weeks, it's, to me, it's mentality first, then diet and exercise follow. And this is like a big mentality part for me. Um, but yeah, I always end up being like, you know, pushing all that guilt to the back. And that's what keeps me in the gym is like acknowledging it. And so with my diet, instead of like pushing it to the back so I can enjoy, I need to just say, oh, yeah, like, let, let myself guilt trip myself and that's what keeps me will keep me choosing the right things and just like want the right things 
Um, so anyway, I just, this was just like such a big hello moment for me. So, um, I'm trying to think of what all I wanted to say, but, um, as far as this week goes, um, I had like a whole fasting day where all I ate was liquids, lost like five pounds, lost like three pounds. I'm at back at 195, I think. Um, because after the fasting, it was like, all right, I need some pizza. Um, so I had pizza. I feel terrible. I feel bloated. Um, and I, I am really excited now that like, I, I see all of this so much clearer. I am just ready. I'm ready to see what the next week holds. And I'm, I'm almost curious if my diet is going to just change just like that. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll be gradual, but it will be nice if it's just like that. Um, yeah, I'm just, wow. Like, and also too, like, I think part of, like I've said in the past videos, like having all these journeys and passion projects help a lot because I think when I look back at every time I've started to gain weight, when I was in at a healthy weight, I had all of my little passion projects that fulfilled me. And then as I started to kind of like lose interest in those passion projects or whatever it was that was fulfilling me, then I would like kind of turn to food. And I think I had such a need for that fulfillment that I would ignore those negative feelings. So I feel like it's a two punch combo, like having those passion projects to fulfill my need. And then I don't have to like push all those negative feelings to the back because that denial, all of that stuff is what's got me. I think that's what's got me here because you know, I want to be like, if I gain five pounds, that should be my like, hey, you're, you know what you're doing. Like, be aware of it and handle business. Like, you know, I need to stop pushing that stuff to the back. So anyways, I just had to share that with you guys. I was just like, oh, y'all, this is, this is such a big, big thing. So anyways, um, thank you guys so much for listening. I'm excited to see how next week goes. Um, and I will talk to you guys later.